Hi there, welcome. It's the 1st of April, so it's time to start a new Daily Doodle Diary vlog. If you've missed the first or second episode, they are down below in the description. Last time we did this really lovely page, but it's all colour pencil, so we're gonna have to be a little bit careful what we put on the other side. So I think we're gonna need to stick something in. Let's see what we have. Oh, we could do post-it notes. I just wanna stick some random pieces of paper down so that we can draw on top. And we don't usually do collage on here, but we've done a bit of everything. We've used paint, we've used pencils. Pens, landscapes, portraits, we've been doing literally everything. They're not great, but I mean, I don't want to lose too much of the design. This one was an old envelope for a birthday card. And these ones here are from a washi tape box. Plus, I kind of like how big this doodle diary is getting now. I've got this fine liner, which I really love. So I'm thinking we could use this. Let's have a look on Pinterest. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, I like the idea of doing like a still life. Should we give that a go? And I might keep these on top. So we're kind of going below them. Just gonna add some squiggles to the most random drawing I've ever done. Compared to like these ones, this is so random and different to anything that we've done so far. And I don't know why I started with this one, but we never know what happens on here. What's going on with my hair? Look how sad the house looks now. We're getting everything all packed up. But you know what? I think it's time for today's daily doodle. A lot of stuff is already packed away. So all we've got is this. Um, we could do like a pink biro maybe. Maybe this light blue one as well. <laughs> I've got these three. I don't know if they actually make blue highlighters, but I definitely don't have one. So maybe we could do like a cute landscape. This is just a random cat. This took me two minutes. And then last night I did some random floating heads. So let's try and make something cute today. This did not go to plan. I tried to create something cute, but honestly, it just looks messy. We're not off to the best start here, but please bear with. There's a lot of really interesting pieces coming up with all sorts of mediums and subjects. Plus, we're taking part in Mermaid. But this page was not it. I like the colour palette, but I think the biro just makes it look messy. The line work isn't intentional. Since I last saw you, I drew some thumbnails and then I did this spread that wasn't very successful. Today we're on the left side and I might use neo colors and just keep it simple. That usually connects to someone's energy But you're acting used to me Don't act like you used to around me Are you getting tired of all my love? I need to know cause baby when push comes to shove I need someone around Someone to hold me down I'm attempting to use alcohol markers again. These are the Ahuhu ones that I've only really used in that crazy video. The video is below if you're interested. Bear in mind that this is cheap lined paper. I don't think the blend is horrific. It's not giving sunset. 
I think the colours tend to look a lot darker on this paper. Plus, there's actually not many light shades in the 48 set that I have. It's a really good set, but I can see why it's actually super helpful to have as many colours as possible when it comes to markers, especially when the colours do look darker on this paper. Maybe I need some more pastel colours. Unfortunately, there was a little accident. Turns out the marker bleed through on the transfer sheet kind of reactivated and bled back on the page. You can see the mark that I had to cover up. I... I don't know. Have you ever had this issue? We're back in the flat to do some cleaning and before we leave, before this vinyl gets removed, we're gonna do one more daily doodle diary. I bought these water-based markers with me. I don't think we've used these for a little while. Let's see. This was the last one, it was in March. It was just a really quick one. Since we used alcohol markers, you might be able to guess what I did on the other side. I did a cute little old-fashioned window and just a random doodle. Then this page is kind of chaotic. I don't really know what's going on. It's cohesive at least. Then yesterday I did this. Just a really subtle landscape, but I like how this bit is completely filled in and the rest is kind of doodly. We could do something a little bit dreamy, but there's a lot of blues. So we could do something unrealistic, dreamy, whatever that means. It is cold. I think we're gonna go for, maybe we'll just stick to pinks and purples. I think we just do a load of random stuff. As usual, I had no plan going into this. Honestly, this challenge is just a bit of fun. I'm attempting to create art every day of 2024, and by the end of it, I think we'll have covered every single subject, medium, and style possible. I had a loose reference for this one. It was a street on a hill with some terraced houses, and then everything went a little bit odd, as it does with me. I think the houses probably should have had roofs. I guess I forgot to do that and that's partly why they look a little bit odd. They don't really look like houses. I love the colour theme though. Pink and orange is such a fun combination. I really should use it more. The spirals on the clouds were completely spontaneous. I've never done anything like that before. But I think it kind of works for the feel that we're trying to get across. Here it is, the final day of April and the final day drawing in this flat. I think it's kind of abstract. I think it's a little bit crazy. Uh, quite a lot of time has passed since I last saw you. I did this. It's just a rough plan for the potential new studio that we're working on. I did this, which was just a interesting angle, but I think it's okay. This again is designing what the wall could look like in the new studio, how I'm going to have a load of art prints. I'm going to be doing a huge small business haul for this. It's going to be awesome. This face went wrong. Ignore this face. And this jug went wrong too. <laughs> oh, this one. Okay, this one I really love. This is Brilliant Red by Karen Dash. It's one of my favourite luminance pencils. And these are supposed to be palm trees, but they look like wind turbines. This took about two minutes. I was literally lying down and I just did a quick doodle. Do we need to do something here? Maybe just another slightly surreal landscape.
The second Daily Doodle Diary episode has just gone live like two minutes ago. I'm really hoping it does well. It took a while getting it down from six hours, but honestly, I'm really happy about the video went. We're gonna have to do the Doodle Diary on the bed. Yesterday was colored pencils, so I'm thinking today maybe we should use Poscas. Let's have a little look on Pinterest and see if there's anything. Have you seen that? It's a bath bomb. And when you pop it in your bath, it turns it into a swamp. Honestly, I kind of want it. Oh, that's such a cute page. I always get distracted by the art. That's really cool. I wonder if I could try something like that. That would be something really different, but I kind of want to. But honestly, going in without a sketch and just straight with Poscas might be a bit crazy for this one. I think if we pop the placement down, it could be pretty though. Pink seems so watery. Basing it loosely on this tattoo, but I'm gonna add some other things as well. Since we know the location, we can now add the sword, which is probably gonna go very wonky because I'm not using a ruler. Let's see if I can do this. I think I might just go a little bit crazy on decoration now, put my own spin on it. to the art studio in progress. We have a desk that we can work at, which is really exciting. I dyed my hair yesterday. It's, it's nice and bright and it's a bit more even, which I like. Today, I've got an idea in mind. I haven't drawn anything for Mermaid this year. I took part in Mermaid last year. I did the entire challenge. The entire challenge is up on my channel. And so many more people are taking part this year. I think I really did it in the wrong year. Let's have a look what today's prompt is. Ooh. The prompt is coconut. To make things a little bit more interesting, I've got Neo colors. I wasn't able to do Neo colors last time because I didn't have them. So let's see what we can make. Since I last saw you, I did this one in about two minutes before midnight. This one I did whilst watching Eurovision. It was the stage. I just wanted to remember that it was that day. This was two minutes last night as well. I uploaded the second Daily Doodle Diary video and I got a few comments saying that they didn't think the challenge was very good because if there's more pressure, there's less creativity. I think the point that I wanna get across with this challenge is they are really, really quick. They are really quick. Like there is no pressure. Like last night, I literally just did lines. I did, I did random lines. Whenever I wanna actually sit down and create a little nice piece, I will do it with you. I don't feel any pressure. I don't feel pressure to create something good. All I need to do is create something. I don't care what that is. And honestly, it's been a really fun challenge. The biggest part for me is just showing up for myself. The hardest bit is gonna be writing with this. That is kind of the font that I used last year for the challenge. Well, this one was a bit of a disaster. I need to sharpen my Neo Color pastels. Well, no, I need to decide if I'm actually going to sharpen them and throw away the shavings or try to keep them in a pot and then see if I can use them like paint. Because it does feel like a waste to throw away the shavings when they could still be used. That's why I haven't sharpened them so far. This drawing didn't work because it was so difficult to try and be accurate with such stubby pastels. I tried my hardest, but... It, it didn't work. I think it also looks odd because it's so blue. I don't actually have many muted pastels though. Often art sets like this come with the brightest main colors that you need. And if you want to get unique shades, you have to get them individually. It's the same with acrylic gouache and all those lovely pastel shades that Holbein do. The girl kind of looks crazy. It was so difficult to do these details with such blunt near colors. That's a little bit of my May down. I'm probably going to do more later on.
morning. Shall we do a doodle diary together? Let's just ignore the mess. Everything's in the middle of the room because the desk is eventually going to be there. It's a whole thing. How do you like my new crazy shag cut? I love them. They're so fun. I did some thumbnail ideas and a portrait. Then I did some cute little ducks. This is just random lines. A random collage cute person thing and some dinosaurs. And then on the back, I just added some pencil to the dinosaurs and did a little person. This took about five minutes, but I love how it turned out. Then we've got a bird from the zoo. Some waves and flowers just completely random. Last night I quickly did this. I was gonna add lines to it but honestly I just thought there was something cute about it so I left it. Today we're on the right side so I'm thinking we're gonna use markers and draw another mermaid. It's the 28th and we've got birthday. I have an idea. And I've only used the hoo-hoo markers for that hoo-hoo video so I don't know if we're gonna get anything good. I've made a few odd little marker drawings, but you know what? This one, it went well. You can see the skin tone started orange. It seems like especially on this paper, there is a color shift when the pens are wet compared to dry because it does eventually turn out pink. But that does make it a bit hard to work with whilst it's wet. It's very much a trust the process kind of approach. I also tried to blend again and that didn't go well. I need to practice it a lot more. I've never used anything like alcohol markers and with watercolour you don't need to try to blend at all, you just drop in some colour and the paint does it for you. It's difficult. I think this page is really cute though. The colour palette is random but it worked. There is a little present behind and the top forms a bow. So that's how I decided to link this mermaid to the prompt birthday. And honestly, I think the bow actually looks pretty good. It started off kind of wonky, but it does look like a bow. I've never drawn a bone before and I'm really happy with it. Good afternoon, it's a little bit later than usual. It's like almost seven o'clock. I just got back from the zoo. Me and my partner just filmed a really cool video there where I spent all day drawing and painting to see how much art I could make at the zoo. I think it's gonna be a cool video. Also, May's almost over. Then we're not gonna be able to make any more mermaids. Well, I mean, we could. I'm thinking about doing something kind of abstract and using these. Oh my, that is so wonky. <laughs> When I say abstract, I mean there's not going to be much shading. There's not going to be a lot of detail. Just really simple flat colours, I think. Let's see what the prompt is. We've kind of got coastal grandma. I don't know what to do with that. Let's try and find a reference photo. I just typed in the word grandma and it's come up with Baddy Winkle, which is kind of a vibe. We could loosely base it on her. Loosely. As much as I kind of miss doing mermaid, the prompts this year are so strange. Oh, we could do, what if we do a red mermaid? Could that be really different? difficult yeah probably i'm just gonna do the basis of the mermaid and then we'll add everything else afterwards i think i don't know if this is gonna work at all you know i 
I made the hair a little bit shorter and I feel like it does kind of come across at the moment. It kind of looks like granny. I really need to work on hands. These are awful. It's just something about putting a skirt on a mermaid that I really love. What I might do is I might focus on making this a little bit different. I might do this kind of matching. I'm gonna color the entire background in and then we'll see. <laughs> Should we do pink hair for this granny? Just ignore the mess, it's absolutely fine. I've just moved house. I got some flowers, my partner got me some flowers. I don't know what happened here, it's a little bit wonky. So maybe we should draw these today. I was thinking that neo colors could be nice and then I remembered that the flowers are white. So maybe we should stick in some paper and then draw with neo colors on top. Just a really simple minimalist drawing. I was gonna do colored paper, but honestly, I think this could look really cool. What if we just tear out a whole page? Oh. I've used book pages a lot in the Doodle Diary, but I just think they're really pretty. I mean, they're also free. <laughs> For this page, I wanted to create something simple and minimalist. That's why I tore out a page and stuck it down, as opposed to doing a collage like I've done in the past. I'd love to get more pastel shades of Neo Color though. They are very pretty. I'd love to get some more unique ones. It does work adding white onto the color that you're using. That's what I did for a lot of this piece, but it's nice to just have those colors handy. Here's how the drawings turned out. I think it's pretty cute, honestly. And that's the final day of May done. So with that, we're gonna end this vlog here. Next time, we're bringing the Daily Doodle Diary on a spontaneous trip to the Greek island of Zakynthos. And we're creating art every day for one week. It's a fun one, so make sure you're subscribed. Let me know what you think of this format. Do you like me doing it in two month stints? Would you like it more frequently, less frequently? I would love to know. If you've enjoyed this one, give it a like. And I'll see you on Sunday with a new video. Bye-bye.